This is the Everything Weight Loss Podcast with Shari Ware, where we talk about everything, all things, anything to do with weight loss, health, and wellness. So today I want to talk about Christmas. Christmas is my most favorite time of the year. I love every single thing about it. Uh, and of course, especially the food, which is always a really big part of Christmas. Now, these days I've got a really good uh, I've got a really good thing going. <laughs> I believe I've got a really good thing going, and uh, I improve on it every year. However, in the past, uh, I know that I would get to the first of January and I would feel I would feel heavier. I would have no energy, and I'd 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 have that regret uh, that I'd indulged a little bit too much, uh, and that that thought that you know I could have done that better. Uh, I felt heavier, and I just generally didn't feel healthy. Uh, and I know that I'm not the only one. I know that there's lots of other people out there in the world uh, like me. Now, in the last few years, I have, you know, I've been on my health journey and I've found what I feel is a much better balance. So I still get all the fun of Christmas. I still get all the yum of Christmas. Uh, however, I get to January 1st, New Year's Day, and uh, I feel really good. And that's a really good feeling. So today, what I want the first thing I want to do is I want to give you five tips for a fun, yum Christmas without the bigger bum. <laughs> now, there's nothing wrong with a bigger bum. Uh, I've still got a sizable bottom. <laughs> um, and I'm okay with that. For me now, it's it's really about health. It's not about the number on the scale. It's not about the the shape or size of my body. It's about how healthy am I on the inside? How healthy is my mind? How healthy is my heart? Can I look in the mirror and and honestly say that I love me? And I certainly can do that. However, that doesn't mean that I want to get to New Year's Day and feel like I used to feel. Heavier, no energy, just feeling generally all around unhealthy and crappy. So to stop that from happening, <laughs> I've got some tips that will help you. So the first one is to have some healthier recipes available. Now that doesn't mean that you have to cut out all the yummy stuff that we love, all the traditional favorites. Just have some healthier recipes as well uh, to have in there so that the balance uh, between, um, you know, maybe some things that probably aren't nutritionally the best for us <laughs> and, and foods that are really good and nutritious for us so that that balance is better. Um, have a plan. I know in the past I've definitely been one to um, let Christmas extend into, <clears throat> you know, a two-week period. Um, it, it starts with, it, you know, it used to start with all the Christmas parties, all the Christmas parties leading up to Christmas, and then you've got Christmas Day, and then you've got Boxing Day, and then, hey, you may as well just keep going because it's just about to do, be New Year. And I'm going to start again on New Year's Day. That's my restart point. I know I'm not the only one who's ever experienced this. So have a plan. Don't let it extend into a two-week feast because <laughs> I can guarantee you by the time you get to January 1st, you're certainly not going to be feeling too good about yourself. And when you don't feel good about yourself, that's not a great way to start the year. So have a plan. Uh, what I do is I typically pick, you know, if I'm going to go to a Christmas party or something, or if I've got a few, then I'm going to pick one that I might let my hair down a little bit at. Um, <clears throat> oh, definitely Christmas Day is a is a day where I'm definitely okay to let my hair down a little bit. Um, and New Year's Eve is usually one typically that I, you know, I'm, I'm okay to, um, I tell myself that that's part of my plan. Um, that is part of the plan that I have. And then 
have that plan, whatever it's going to be for you, because you want to be happy with it. it. There's no point doing something and feeling like you're missing out and feeling like you're not getting to enjoy it because that defeats the purpose. But have a plan that you're happy with and then whatever that plan is, work, do really well up and around it. So, you know, if you've got a Christmas party to go to, uh, be as on point as you can with your healthy eating in the lead up, uh, you know, before and after the party. Uh, make sure you're getting your movement in before and after the party. Um, make sure you're drinking lots of water and you, you're keeping hydrated, especially if you're having some alcohol. Um, so those kinds of things. And it's about having that balance of, of enjoying ourselves and, um, and, and still having the healthy nutrition and the, and the healthy movement uh, before and after. So have a plan and that will help you not to have it turn into a two week and go for it, whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen. <laughs> so number three is to do other fun things to take the focus or to take all the focus off food. Um, you know, things with the family, fun activities, fun games. Um, and if they can be things to get you moving, even better. Um, you know, food is definitely a big part of Christmas uh, for a lot of people, but it doesn't have to be everything. Um, and connection is so important. And that's a lot of the reason why food is such a big part of Christmas because it is a way that we get connection. But that doesn't mean that we can't get connection in other ways. And um, definitely by having uh, more fun things to do with the family is going to divert some of the focus away from the food. Number four, get moving. And so this ties in with number three, doing fun things with, with the family. And, and if you can um, get some in there that get you moving, that's great. You know, even something like Twister, <laughs> have, a, have a Christmas version of Twister or something. There's, there's plenty of ideas out there. The internet is wonderful for those kinds of things. Um, so get creative and and find some fun ways to move so that especially if you if you're like me and you really don't like exercise <laughs> so that it doesn't feel like a chore um, but you are moving. Any movement is good movement. Um, and number five, now this is number five but it's actually one of the most important things. In fact I would actually say it is the most important. So I've really saved the best for last. Take the guilt out of it. There's, plan your Christmas in a way where you are not going to feel guilty. It's, it is okay for you to enjoy yourself. That is what we are here for. That is, that is life is meant to be enjoyed. And sometimes that involves some foods and drinks that are not necessarily nutritionally perfect for our body or nutritionally beneficial for our body. But if there's something that we really love and we don't want to go without them, then there is a way for us to find that balance where we can still enjoy them and not have any guilt. We shouldn't have any guilt about that. We can... Guilt is something that we can, we have a choice in everything and guilt is something that we have a choice in. So make a decision about what you're going to do, plan your, make your plan and then there's abs that's even more of a reason for you not to feel guilty because you have a plan that you're following and, and those sometimes foods, I call them sometimes foods, uh, those things that we love um, are, are included in that. And um, it's allowed. <laughs> it's, we, we're allowed to give ourselves permission to enjoy things. Uh, so take the guilt out of it. Now, if you need some help with this, because Christmas is one of the most busiest times of the year, and um, you know, some people at the moment this year has been challenging, and uh, you know, Christmas is coming at a rate of knots. It's it's less than a month away. I'm sorry. 
Somebody had to say it. <laughs> um, it is less than a month away. And if this is something that is new, is if this is something that you think, oh yeah, that sounds great, but I don't have the time to figure it out and I don't have the energy and I wouldn't even know where to start. If, if, if you think that this is something that you would like to do, you would like to have a healthier Christmas, a fun, yum Christmas without the bigger bum, then um, I have a four-week program that I've created because I know I'm not the only one who would like to get to uh, New Year's Day and feel awesome and start the year off feeling amazing, especially after the 2020 that we've had. That has been very challenging. So if you do, would if you would like some help with this, I do have a program. It's a four-week program. It starts on the 14th of December and runs through to the 10th of January. Uh, and it is all online. And I will tell you some of the things that are in there. But I will also put uh, a description, a full description of everything in the show notes so that you can, because if you're a visual person like me, you really need to see that um, and to be able to process it. <laughs> so it includes a private Facebook group for support, collaboration, sharing and fun. Uh, it includes healthier Christmas food and drink recipes. Uh, now that doesn't mean that they don't have alcohol in them. There will be options for you to add alcohol if, that, if you so wish. Uh, and that is completely okay. Remember, it's all about the balance. Um, it's the balance that we have that is important. Uh, so there will be healthier food and drink recipes so that you still get the yum without the bigger bum. <laughs> <clears throat> There'll be more fun with Christmas games that get you moving. There'll be 12 days of Christmas gifts to self. So 12 days of Christmas gifts to you that help you end 2020 in a positive way. There will be weekly group sessions uh, and they will include a vision creation board session to get you inspired and energised for 2021. Goal setting session to create your 2021 vision. <clears throat> An action plan creation session to bring your 2021 vision to fruition because you can have all the goals in the world, but if you don't take any action towards them, it's not going to happen. <clears throat> and a moving forward session to make sure that you have everything that you need to totally rock the new year, 2021. Uh, there will also be some bonuses and they will include a masterclass on nutrition to make food in 2021 super easy healthy and fun masterclass on stress so that your 2021 is way less stressful than 2020 a masterclass on self-love because you deserve it and it is so important if you do not love yourself why would you do anything for you and um I know I still am working on the self-love. I've certainly made a lot of progress on it uh, and I'm still happy to keep improving. So I'd love for you to join me on that journey. A masterclass on mindset to give you the tools that you need to have an amazing 2021 and a inflow chakra balancing session as an extra special bonus that has been um, offered it as part of the program by a very special colleague. So, all of that is going for the amazing price of $127. That is it. Um, and we are going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of yum. <laughs> And we're not going to get to New Year's Day with a bigger bum. <laughs> so that's it from me for today. Uh, I really uh, would love to have you on my, my fun yum Christmas journey. Uh, I would love to know uh, anything, any comments or questions that you have around the five tips that I gave you. I'm definitely happy to expand further on them if somebody needs more expansion. Uh, leave questions and comments uh, in, sorry, leave questions in the comments and I will see you on the next podcast episode next week.
You can change your story one change at a time. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Remember to check out the show notes and if you have any comments, feedback or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. If you've received value from this podcast, make sure to subscribe and I'd love you to rate and review the show. Have a fabulous day.